I'm Liz Bertelli and I'm here today with Professor Roz Eels, an expert in oncogenetics here at the Institute of Cancer Research. And today we'll be discussing her Nature Genetics paper, which suggests that healthy looking prostate cancer cells could actually be harboring some cancer causing mutations. Welcome Professor Eels. Um, first of all, could you just give us a bit more background on why the study was needed? Prostate cancer is the commonest cancer in men now in the United Kingdom. And we know that in many cases where a prostate cancer occurs, several areas in one prostate gland can be affected by cancerous parts. What we haven't been certain about is whether these different areas of cancer arise from one origin spreading out to other areas or whether each arise independently. And this study was set up to try to answer that question. And what were the findings of the study? We had two important findings. We looked at prostate cancers in three men. We did genetic sequencing, sequencing of the human genome in 12 areas of cancer and in three areas of the prostate that looked normal under the microscope away from the cancerous areas. What we found were first of all that the different areas of cancer were arising independently suggesting that there's a sort of field effect throughout the prostate rather than one area of cancer spreading throughout the prostate. The second important finding was that we saw genetic changes in the normal looking prostate tissue and some of these genetic changes were the same as those within the cancers themselves. And how can your discovery translate to patient benefit in the future? At the moment when we treat the prostate there's one school of thought that suggests that you may be able to treat part of the prostate and if you have ch genetic changes in the normal area of the prostate that could also be the same as in the cancer then it may be important to treat some of the normal looking areas of the prostate also so it may uh, give us food for thought about how we actually treat parts of the prostate that have cancer within them. Thank you very much Professor Eels.